हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज़ डॉक्टर रुचिरा चौधरी इन्फिनिटी मैथ में आपका स्वागत है इफ यू आर स्टार्टिंग बी और बी मैथ और यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर एनी कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम वेर हायर मैथमेटिक्स इज रिक्वायर्ड देन दिस चैनल विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू सो सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड टुडे इट्स टाइम टू लर्न मैपिंग द प्रीवियस चैप्टर्स ऑफ दिस टॉपिक दैट इज सेट्स एंड रिलेशंस हैव बीन ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड and so the video links will be given in the description box so let's start and start with the definition now what do you mean by a mapping suppose a and b are two non empty sets a mapping f is a rule that assigns for each element x in a to a definite element y in b that is there will be two sets non empty sets a and b there are elements in a and there are also elements in b now if is a rule by that rule for each element x we can get a definite element y in b so that rule is said to be a mapping since a comes first it is known as domain and b comes after a so b is known as codomain and it is symbolically written as f a to b so a mapping is written as f a to b and a mapping is also known as transformation or function let's come to the definition of image set or range of f suppose f is a mapping from a to b then for each x each x in a we can get a definite y in b by the rule f so that rule is defined for each x in a like that this 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 and this and these points are called image point that is the points which have got the pre image x in a are called the image points of b and if you collect all these image points then the collection or the set is defined to be the image set or range of f so there may be some elements in b which have not got any pre image x in a so the image set may be subset of Uh, the codomain set b now the image set is generally denoted by f of a and is defined as fx such that x belongs to a and now the image set is uh, also known as range of f that is r f and the domain set is denoted by df so the image set of f that is fa may be a subset of the codomain set b or fa may be equals to b from these two conditions we can get two different mappings that is onto mapping and into map now what is onto mapping and into mapping suppose f is a mapping from a to b and if uh, the mapping f is said to be a onto mapping if onto mapping if f a equals to b that is the range of f or image set of f is equal to the codomain set and the mapping is said to be into mapping if f a is a proper subset of b that is the range of f or image set of f is proper subset of the 
codomain set B. So the picture of onto mapping and into mapping is like that. This is into mapping that is the image set is a proper subset of B. FA is a proper subset of B. There are some elements in B which have not any pre-image X in A. So the image set is a proper subset of the codomain set. And this is the picture of onto mapping. Here the image set is equal to the codomain set B. That is FA equals to B. So this is the picture of onto mapping. So now I am coming to a definition of bijective mapping. What is bijective mapping? A mapping is said to be a bijective mapping when it is both injective and surjective. That is a bijective mapping when it is both injective and surjective. That is what is surjective? Surjective means onto mapping. I have already uh, given the definition of onto mapping. So there is another name of onto mapping that is surjective. So onto mapping is said to be surjective. Now we have to know what is injective mapping. So let's come to the definition of injective mapping. Suppose F is a mapping from A to B, then the mapping is said to be an injective mapping or one to one mapping if for any, if for each pair of distinct element of A, elements of A, their F images are distinct. That is in that case, separate elements have separate image point. No two elements have same image point in that case. In that case, no two elements have same image point. So this is one to mapping. This, there is one to one correspondence. But this is not uh, one to one mapping or injective mapping because there two elements have same image point and this is many to one mapping. This is not injective mapping. If you notice carefully the definition, you will see that 0 is mapped to 0. Minus 1 is mapped to minus 2. Minus 2 is mapped to minus 4 and so on. And also 1 is mapped to 2. 2 is mapped to 4. And 3 is mapped to 6 and so on. So, here the image set or, or the range of f is the set of even integers which is a proper subset of the set of integers. So this is a into mapping and also separate elements have separate image points. So this is one to one and into mapping. Now I am coming to another def example of a mapping. F is a mapping from set of integers to the set of integers such that fx equals to mod x. So what type of mapping is that? this? Here you see 0, 0 is mapped to 0, minus 1 is mapped to 1 and also 1 is mapped to 1. Similarly, minus 2 is mapped to 2 and also 2 is mapped to 2. So here you see that the two elements have same image points that is 1 and also the two elements minus 2 and 2 have same image point that is 2. So this is not a 1 to 1 mapping. So this is many to 1 mapping many to one mapping and you see that the all image points are the set of positive integers and zero so this is the this is the proper subset of the set of integers so this is into mapping this 
is all about the mappings and this is just an introductory class and it, it will be helpful for the beginners and also for the stu uh, students for preparing Z main and advanced. In, on my next class I will solve numerous types of problems related to mapping. So stay connected and follow my next video link.